Hillary Clinton told a close friend that Monica Lewinsky was a narcissistic loony tune, and also discussed in detail why she decided to forgive her husband for having an affair with the White House intern, according to documents penned by Diane Blair, a close friend and longtime confidant to the former first lady. The contents of the documents, which are part of Blair's papers housed at the University of Arkansas, were first reported by the Washington Free Beacon, a conservative website that posted the story late on Sunday night. CNN has confirmed the documents are authentic. Blair's writings are made up of notes and diary entries based on communication the former political science teacher had with the former first lady. A circumflex it was a lapse, but she says to his credit he tried to break it off, tried to pull away, tried to manage someone who was clearly a narcissistic looney tune, but it was beyond control, Blair wrote about a conversation she had with Clinton on September 9, 1998, during the height of the Lewinsky scandal. Blair went on to write that Hillary Clinton had suggested her husband had made the mistake with Lewinsky because of the personal toll the deaths of his mother her father, and their friend Vince Foster had taken on him while the ugly forces started making up hateful things about them, pounding on them. The story comes as speculation is heating up that Hillary Clinton is eyeing a second run for the White House. The Blair papers were not made public until 2010, well after her 2008 presidential bid. And it comes as Republican Senator Ron Paul of Kentucky, a likely 2016 GOP White House contender, continues to call the Lewinsky scandal a liability for the Democrats. The Clinton-Lewinsky affair captivated the national s attention as the sordid details became international news. The relationship and grand jury investigation led the House of Representatives to impeach Clinton on two charges in December 1998. In February 1999, the Senate acquitted the president. Just days after Clinton was impeached by the House, Blair writes that Hillary called her and they had a lengthy conversation about the impeachment. A circumflex she sounded very up, almost jolly, a circumflex, writes Blair. A circumflex told me how she and Bill and Chelsea had been to church, to a Chinese restaurant, to a Shakespeare play, greeted everywhere with wild applause and chairs. A circumflex, she added, a circumflex this she said, is what drives their adversaries totally not, that they don't bend, do not appear to be suffering. A circumflex. According to Blair, Clinton said that a circumflex most people in this town have no pain threshold. A circumflex. Blair's writings also show Hillary Clinton sought to downplay the relationship between her husband and Louis Key. A circumflex HRC insists, no matter what people say, it was gross and appropriate behavior but it was consensual, was not a power relationship, and was not sex within any real meaning uh, of the term, a circumflex, Blair wrote. CNN was unable to reach a spokesman for Hillary Clinton late Sunday night for comment. In addition to Hillary Clinton's private thoughts on the Lewinsky matter, Blair's writing talks about Clinton's support for a single-payer health care system, as well as her thoughts on foreign policy among other subjects. According to notes about a dinner Blair had with the first couple on February 23, 1993, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton talked a circumflex at length about the complexities of health care, a circumflex, with the first lady saying stating a circumflex managed competition across single payer necessary, may be add to Medicare. A circumflex, Hillary Clinton was the face of the White House's 1993 push on health care reform and health care comes up throughout the Blair notes. Clintona's admission that a circumflex single-payer necessaria contrasts what she has said in the past. In a 2008 interview with the New York Times, Clinton said, A circumflex you know, I have thought about this, as you might guess for 15 years and I never seriously considered a single-payer system. A circumflex. Blair, a political science professor from Arkansas, joined Governor Bill Clinton's 1992 presidential campaign as a senior researcher and worked as a senior advisor on his successful 1996 re-election bid. She became a close friend to both Clintons, but particularly the First Lady. She died in 2000 at the age of 61. 
At the time, the New York Times reported that Hillary Clinton eulogized Blair as a circumflex the best person that one could have as a friend. A circumflex. The documents portray Blair's relationship with Clinton as both professional and personal. While they appeared to talk extensively about policy and politics, they also discussed books, travel and family. The Blair documents were donated by her husband, James, in 2005. The documents were processed and completed by 2010 and contain 109 boxes of information that range from Blair as professional materials to her correspondence with the Clintons. James once helped Hillary Clinton make $100,000 in commodity futures trading, which drew scrutiny for its timing. According to the Free Beacon, Hillary Clinton was a supporter of making the Blair records public in 2010.